Yeah. Shit'll kill ya. What's up everyone? Jay here from Rated J Games, and today I want to talk about Anthem. Anthem I've been having a lot of fun with. I know there's a whole bunch of bullshit being said about it, but in my experience, and also with the people that play with me, we have been on Anthem daily and grinding it out and this video is a lot about what I want to see happen to Anthem and maybe maybe some of it actually will but that's for the developers to actually go ahead and do and actually show us but just to get it out of the way first I want to talk about the loot system now, I know everybody wants loot just like Diablo, where they are showered in so much loot that they can't even carry most of it. <clears throat> Let me tell you, Anthem does not have that many items in for us to be showered in loot, okay? It doesn't. Until it does, we cannot be showered in loot like that. Now, mind you, when I go through a stronghold, I come out with anywhere from three to four masterworks with the possibility of a legendary. But mind you, I'm only playing on Grandmaster 1 at the moment and dabbling in Grandmaster 2. We, my team actually just finished off the, um, the mine, so... Wow, the Swarm Miner, whatever fucking, whatever that stronghold is where you have to fight the big ass bug at the end. But, <clears throat> we just finished that off in Grandmaster 2, which was brutal, but fun. But, as far as loot goes, I personally would like to see a bump, okay? Not a huge bump, but a bump and maybe restructure it, okay? Whereas Grandmaster 1, you get Masterworks, okay? But Jay, that's already happening. No shit. But, what I'm saying is, you get your Masterworks, you get the 2, the 3, the 4 from Strongholds, like normal. Grandmaster 2, I believe that should be doubled a little bit with a higher chance of legendaries. But to make Grandmaster 3 worth a damn, because nobody's really going into Grandmaster 3, I think Grandmaster 3 should just be all about the legendaries. Like, that is where you go to go ahead and get your legendaries. Alright. Cool. Grandmaster won very little, little itty bitty chance of getting a legendary. Grandmaster 2, slightly more. Grandmaster 3, legendaries. Now, as far as the grind goes, I think it needs to be bumped a little bit. Not like how people want it. Not like Diablo. There's just not enough here in this game for loot showers like Diablo. I, apo <clears throat> I apologize if anybody does not agree with me here, but it's the damn truth. So, moving on. Cosmetics. I know we're supposed to get these cosmetic boxes and whatnot. But, Bioware, we need more, okay? <clears throat> it shouldn't be one or two freaking armor sets f per javelin like literally I had to wait a good couple store rotations for the same old Colossus armor set to come in that was there on day one when it released no <laughs> okay we already seen these things in the store Let's bring some new ones in. We really, really would appreciate it. And maybe throw real money at you. Because, I mean, everybody 
and their mother is into playing dress up when it comes to stuff like this, and we just want to make our javelins look fancy. So, huh? Huh? M more armors, maybe? Please? Please? Anyway, as far as the store goes, the store is atrocious. Okay, um, whatever is presented in the store should move to the forge and be there permanently. Leave the store for new things that are, I don't know, special and presented there. But when that time runs out, move it to the forge and leave it there. It's stupid that we couldn't go ahead and get an armor set or a vinyl after it left the store. That is dumb. Let's fix that, Bioware. Please. It would be awesome. But, moving on. <laughs> I said a lot. Strongholds. We obviously need more. And you guys keep saying more is coming. I believe you. But here's what I want out of strongholds. I want strongholds to be strongholds because the things that you're having us run into are a piece of cake. They... I'm, I mean, they're so easy now. Okay, Grandmaster 1 has become very easy. But going into Grandmaster 2, we didn't have that much of a hard time. It was brutal, yes. Mm, difficult? Not too much. I mean, we died on the boss uh, twice, but I mean, that third time around, we spanked it like nothing else. But, um, what I would like to see in Strongholds, though, is I would like to see a bigger Stronghold. Something that lasts longer, because we can get through Strongholds in 15 minutes. And if I'm going into something called a stronghold and it only takes 15 minutes to beat, it's not really that intimidating. I kind of want to... I want to see a stronghold where it's just more than six different areas. Maybe double that. And in the middle of the stronghold, have like a mini boss. You know? Like, something... Something intimidating that... When you get there, you know the boss of the Stronghold is going to be hell. And, I, I mean, I think something like that would be great. I mean, you take, you take any kind of dungeon you go into, you always have that mini-boss in the middle of any kind of, like, RPG. Now, I know Atham isn't an RPG, but that is what I would like to see. Bigger Strongholds. And by the time I get through them, I want to be terrified by that boss. And then happy when I beat it. Mm, pretty much. Mm -hmm. But, other than that, I'm loving Anthem. And I just want to see it succeed. I know there is a protest where people are boycotting the game for a week. What is that going to do? The sad thing is, is they're boycotting it because they're not getting the loot they want. If they boycott it, they're still not getting the loot they want. So, what sense does it make? I think it's stupid. You want this to happen, okay? Play the damn game, help the devs. Because if you're not playing, another bug's gonna get loose. And Nantham has enough bugs. Okay? <laughs> but I honestly think that people are overreacting way too much when it comes to Anthem. Yes, does the loot need to be fixed? Sure. Does other things need to be added? Like armor sets? Sure. Does the store need to be revamped? Yes. But as far as things coming, we also need new guns okay new weapons we want them to look different though okay please but anyway 
as far as things go, Anthem is really enjoyable, okay? I could sit here playing it solo with a bunch of randoms or with my crew and still have a blast. I do my dailies every day, I help my friends do their dailies every day, and we just have a good damn time just grinding it out. So, I don't know what other people are bitching about. Because I'm loving Anthem. And I'm going to continue to play this game until I pretty much get bored and they release more content. Because again, that's another thing we want is more content. Can we get more content please? I know Cataclysm is coming in like well, two months, I guess, I think, maybe. And then we're supposed to be getting something this month and then something next month. Okay, it's a trickle of new stuff, but at least it's coming faster than it did with Destiny. And if anything shows how the developers actually do care, you know, sans EA, screw them, Bioware, with that last patch, I mean, 300 bug fixes. Or, or was it a little less? I know it was like a, a stupid amount of bug fixes. They got it to us early. And now they're even working on more stuff. So, give Bioware the credit they deserve. I mean, they may not be working like the Bioware that we knew back with Knights of the Old Republic. Or other games like that. But, Anthem is a good game. Give it a shot, screw the hate, go and figure it out yourself. Seriously. It's it's a fun game. In my opinion, at least. And if you haven't played it and you're on this hate bandwagon, you're fucking stupid. Because if you're gonna say you don't like something, you should at least give it a shot first. But anyway, this has been Rated J from J... I said that backwards. This has been J from Rated J Games saying, Love Anthem, give it a shot, please. See you guys in the next one.